guys, welcome back to Art with Miss Therese. We've taken a little bit of a break. Um, sometimes that's kind of a help because it can kind of refresh your brain. Um, but I'm super excited to do some more art lessons. And we're gonna start out today with uh, leaves. It's fall and where we live on the planet is a little bit further away from the equator, pretty far away from the equator. And that means we get seasons. And so, especially here, the leaves can change. Um, so I've been out collecting leaves. These ones got, this one's got a little dried up, but that's okay. They're, they're still going to give me a lot of inspiration. There's a lot of leaves out that are beautifully colored. There's some that are, that kind of have, I'm tangled up here. There's some that are, that are getting kind of brown. Those are kind of fun to look at too. Um, but if you get a chance, get out in your yard or if you're going to a park or going for a hike, um, anything like that. Um, uh, if you live in an apartment, I'm sure there's there's trees and, and, and leaves to look at around there too. So we're going to start out with um, some pencil drawings and of course I'm going to use my Ferrari pencil sharpener. Whoops. Uh oh. I didn't do that. Well, it's supposed to work. We'll, we'll see in a minute. Just a little explanation here. It still is a Ferrari of pencil sharpeners. It was just coming unplugged. I wasn't careful. Okay, so we're gonna start out with some pencil drawings and uh, we'll get, get to it right now. So we're gonna start out with a maple leaf. And this one has one, two, three, four, five points. This one at this point kind of, kind of broke off. Um, I picked these yesterday and I didn't realize that they were gonna dry up this much, but I can still use them. And if you kind of notice, they have veins in them that, that take the nutrients to the, to the leaf so the leaf can grow. And, and this leaf used to be green, it used to have chlorophyll, that's the part of the leaf that, that um, makes it a green color. And as the days get shorter, this, the plant stops or the tree stops making chlorophyll and um, it sort of disappears and the other colors that are left in the leaf start showing up. And lots of times the leaves have different kinds of sugar compounds in them and that gives them different colors. So we're just gonna do this basic maple leaf. And again, I've got a whole plate full of them. You can go out and get your own or you can just um, watch from the video. And they don't have to be perfect at all. We're just gonna kind of scatter them on the page and have a little fun drawing with our pencil. Now, a lot of you guys know, generally I don't use erasers, but since I'm not around to watch you, um, uh, you can use an eraser if you want. I just prefer no eraser because, or if I have an eraser not to use it, that way I can get in more practice. If I don't like what I've drawn, I'm just gonna start again and not really spend any time um, erasing. So um, here we go. So what I'm gonna start out with, when I was looking at these, they have really long, these ones have a really long stem. And there's the, the part of the stem that attaches to the, to the tree, which is right here. I hope you can see this. Is this showing up, Luke? And it narrows as it gets down towards the, towards the end of the leaf. And again, I'm just sketching this in. The leaf has five points. And so I'm just gonna kind of have fun and let my pencil sort of go into five different point directions. And that's, there's, there's a basic maple leaf shape. You can practice making them smaller, like this. And all you have to do, if you want, is just sort of practice making these shapes. You can make them going different directions. And, and again, this is just a practice piece, but it might wind up being something that you really like. I'm gonna have this stem go over that leaf. And then I'm gonna have maybe another shape. I, when I was out there, I found some leaves that, that, are, that have a little more of a different shape to them, just a plain leaf shape. I don't know if you can see that. Again, I apologize for the crunchy leaves. Um, we're gonna do another one on leaves and I'll try to have some leaves that aren't quite so crunchy. So uh, I'm gonna put one of those leaves here and I might add just a tiny stem to that. And then another one here. I'm kind of making sort of a design. I don't really have a plan here and that's okay. I'm just sort of having fun. Normally, as you guys recall, I usually put a border around my, my, my picture. I could do that with my pencil right now if I wanted. There's a fly in here, sorry about that. We live on a farm and occasionally this time of year, flies get in the house. Um, you know, let's go ahead. If you want to, I'm just gonna put a border on this 
and don't feel that, that you have to put a border on or you could use a ruler. I should have done this a little bit ahead of time, but that's okay. And here's kind of a neat trick. When you are drawing a line and you want it relatively straight, if you keep the, the base of your hand, this side of your hand down on, on, the, on the table or on your work surface, it's gonna give you a lot of control. So there you go. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You could have fun with the border too. You could, you could have it be zigzaggy or different shapes. But anyway, I just went ahead and put a border on there. I'm gonna do maybe a few more of these leaves here. I'm gonna have it just sort of like they are falling. I don't know if you've ever walked along a sidewalk or a path in the woods. And this time of year, just look down at the pattern of the leaves that are on the ground. I always like to do that. I do a lot of running on trails and I'm gonna have a leaf kind of coming into the picture and I'm gonna have a leaf here kind of leaving the picture. Makes it look a little bit more active. Um, and when I'm out on the trails, I just love looking at things. It always gives me ideas. Now the leaves have veins in them. We can do that. We'll put the veins in to make them look a little bit more real. And so I'm gonna have the veins take the nutrients when the tree's growing. There we go. And when I was looking at the maple leaves, their veins kind of come out evenly, right next to each other like this, but you could do yours any way you want. It's kind of fun to make things look real. I love abstract, but I really have a good time making things look real. But you do it however you want to do it. And again, if you're more of a sketchy drawer, you can do it a little bit more sketchy. I'm just doing kind of nice sort of steady lines. And look, I filled my whole page up with just a pencil on white paper. You know, the other thing is I love to listen to the sound of pencils drawing on paper. Reminds me of when I was a little kid. My dad was an illustrator, and I think he's who I got my love of drawing from. And um, I would love to go back into his studio and watch him draw and, and actually listen to the, listen to the pencil. Um, so I know that sounds a little crazy, but that's okay. So I'm going to add another one here like this. So I've just got some pretty much some, some leaves filling up, filling up my page. Look at that. That's kind of fun. So now let's have, let's, let's use a little of our pencil skills with this. I'm going to come in and I'm going to press down at some of the points on the leaves like this. And this will make it look a little bit more, and just like if you kind of darken the tips a little bit, it's going to give a little definition to it. It's kind of a tricky way of adding a little body to it. Mostly, Drawing is tricks and a lot of practice. I know a lot of you guys play soccer or play the piano or play an instrument or any kind of sport or anything that you do. The more you do it, the better you're at it, the better you are at it. And that's one of the fun things about drawing. The more you practice, the better you're going to get and the more fun you're going to have with it. So, that pesky fly is flying around here still. Um, so I'm, again, I'm just adding some dark points like this. I hope you kind of get the idea. I'm going to put a vein down these ones here. And in the next video, we're, we're going to talk about the different shapes of leaves and I'll give you some of the scientific names. Um, Again, it's always fun. I'm kind of curious about things and I love looking things up and figuring out why they look like they do. And have that like that. So, so I don't know if that, if you can see that, I hope you can. I guess when we edit the video, I'm gonna find out. <laughs> there we go. All right. So that kind of helps me have a little bit of definition. Oh, you know what else I could do? I could do a leaf that like maybe a little bug came along and took a bite out of. 
or a caterpillar took ate something, ate, ate a little bit of the leaf. Or maybe maybe the squirrel, maybe a squirrel came along and decided to test it, see if it was any good. We have a lot of squirrels here on the farm and they're kind of fun to watch. So there you go. That one. So, so it kind of looks like, again, like it's fall. Um, we could do some, we could do a little bit of shading here, kind of at the ends like this. And if you guys remember when we did the scribble lesson, you just kind of fill in with little scribbles like this if you want. If you wanted to, to exactly fill it in, you could kind of do it a little bit more carefully, like that. And then, the fun part about pencil drawing is you can take your finger and you can... Look at that! Is that showing up, Luke? Is it showing up pretty good? Um, my cameraman is my wonderful son, Luke, who is a professional photographer and I don't know what I would do without his help. We might put him in one of the videos so you can meet him. He's pretty cool. Of course, I'm not prejudiced. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this one black and white. Um, and you know what I'm gonna to add to this, which is kind of fun? We did these before in one of the earlier videos. Um, oh, before I go there, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make these stems dark for a little bit of contrast. It's kind of fun to have contrast in your pictures. Keeps things sort of interesting. And again, I really didn't plan where I was gonna put these leaves, which is fine. A little more, a little more smear there. But, a tip, another dark tip there. Um, but what I'm going to do here, just for fun, is I'm going to have these leaves kind of blowing all over the place. And I don't know if you remember us talking about action lines before, but we're going to put some action lines into this picture. And this leaf could have even blown over this leaf here, so I've got the action lines over that. And that one, maybe that one blew into the page and blew out. This one's blowing in from here. It's kind of fun. You can make the leaf paths kind of complicated too if you want, just for the heck of it. And this one, this one just landed in, in the page. And this one here just landed there, so we'll have this one here, like this. So these leaves have been pretty busy, blowing, blowing in and out of the paper. And like I said, you could leave this black and white, or if you have some colored pencils and you want to and you want to play around with the color a little bit, you could do that. Let me show you how we're going to do that. I've got some crayons. This is the fancy box. I really like this. The kind that has the it's got the little crayon sharpener on the back because you probably don't want to put crayons into an electric pencil sharpener or any kind of pencil sharpener. So um, what I'm going to do here, and again, this is just color crayon, really, really simple. You could leave it black and white, which I kind of like, or I'm just going to do one here really quickly. You could, we'll just do, we'll just do another quick leaf here just to show you a little bit of the technique. See my leaf, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You see that? Okay, Luke. And I'm gonna do it with those darker points, like that. There we go. And so this is just gonna kind of show you a little bit of a technique. I'm gonna come in with a color crayon and I'm going to add a little bit of color to that leaf. And I'm using kind of a sort of a 
I have a technique where I'm just filling in, kind of going around and around and around. That's one way. Here I'll fill in the, the different parts. Or I could kind of go back and forth like that. Okay. And because the leaves have different colors on them sometimes, I'm going to sort of experiment here a little bit. And again, if you don't have crayons, you could use colored pencil. But I just happen to have crayons sitting on my desk here. And I really like experimenting with things. It makes it kind of fun. Let's see, I might add a little bit of green. And let's see if there's a little bit of a darker orange. Yeah, there we go. And sometimes you could have, let's see, um, what if we put, oh, perfect. We'll do an even darker orange right there. I can press hard too and really fill it in solid, or I can leave it a little bit lighter. Like that. And so you get a little bit of texture on that leaf and a little bit of interest. There we go. And you can just kind of keep playing with this. There's nothing like a great big box of crayons, right? <laughs> there, and see, as you can see, I'm just, I keep layering the crayon in. I just don't color it one time. I keep adding to it, and that makes it Have a little bit more depth. Okay, so there you, there you go. There's that one. And just kind of brush things away. And I could add more leaves to this too. As you can see, I've kind of spent a little bit of time here working away, which I really love to do. And um, I think what I'm going to do here is grab a little bit of. Can somebody take my yellow? I'm going to grab a little bit of yellow, okay, and I'm going to go over, oh my gosh, look what happens when you do that. When you go over that orange with the yellow and you press kind of hard, is that showing up brighter? Okay. And you press kind of hard, you can really intensify the color. See, that's the fun thing about drawing is, is you can take your time. And again, I don't want you guys rushing through this. You can stop the video, you can back it up, all those things. I don't want you rushing through this. I want you to take your time and really enjoy getting some, to spend some time with, with drawing things. So there's your, or mine I should say, or ours, our leaf. I'm gonna come back in, I'm gonna do those points a little bit darker. Look at how fun that turned out like that. I might even darken just parts of the mane, not all of it, just parts of it. And I've mixed, here I've mixed um, crayon and pencil together, and that's called mixed media, but it doesn't have to be a fancy term. You can just say that it's crayon and pencil together. End of story. Okay, there you go. And then I'm going to show you something fun we can do with that. So here's something kind of fun you can do with your leaf, get your handy dandy scissors out and you can cut out your leaf like this, just very carefully cut it out like this and if you accidentally cut part of the leaf that's okay just try not to cut yourself if um, you're nervous about using scissors, get a grown-up 
or somebody older to help you. But I'm pretty sure you'll be able to cut these out. You know, when you're cutting things, it's almost like drawing a little bit. Because you're, you're following a line and you're just using something a little bit different to follow the line. There we go. And what I'm going to do here, if I wanted to make something, say, for somebody, say I wanted to make a present, I could do a whole bunch of these leaves and grab a glue stick or whatever glue you have around. Or even if you don't have any glue, you could scotch tape it down or staple it down. It's all up to you. There's, there's no right or wrong way to do things here. I'm just going to get a little glue on my finger. <laughs> um, put the cap on. By the way, I'm always after my own kids to put the cap back on the glue so it doesn't dry out. All right, so I'm going to have my leaf on the page like that, and I could do some more. And this could be a really nice present for somebody. So I hope you enjoyed uh, drawing our leaves. We did our black and white one. And you know what's kind of fun about this? It could go this way. It could go this way, or it could go this way. And I'll bet you're going to come up with, with a beautiful picture, just with just using a pencil and um, uh, a piece of white paper. The other thing we did is we took the same kind of leaf thing and colored it with just good old plain color crayons and layered the color crayons on, on top of each other, and still used the pencil cut it out and glued it on a piece of paper and you could do the whole thing with the leaves like this and it could be a present for somebody or it could be something just nice for you to have for yourself. I'm going to go get my puppy because I think you guys need to meet my new puppy. So hey guys, this is my new little puppy except she's gotten bigger. This is Brisket and she just tried to catch the fly. Anyway, this is Brisket and sometimes she'll be in our videos and sometimes she won't be in our videos. And um, you know what? Maybe we'll teach her how to draw. Anyway, you take care, and I'll see you in the next video.